Hello all my Sifferfic fans, it's Angela Oliveira Ray, your independent Sensi consultant. And I am outside today because I'm kind of keeping an eye on the kids and you might see them coming in and out of the video. This tree's gonna bug me, but I couldn't do anything to get rid of it. So I might turn my head every once in a while so I'm not kind of looking at myself in the video and it doesn't make me rah. Um, but I wanted to come on and do a little sniff sesh with you on the bring back my bars because every once in a while, actually twice a year, we have you guys vote for your faves and you know, we have you, um, fall in love with all of your fragrances and some of these fragrances are only in our lives in Scentsy Land for a very short period of time. And you fall so madly deeply in love with them and then they're gone and retired and you know it used to be they would never come back and then we started this thing called bring back my bar where you would vote and all of the Scentsy fans would vote for their favorite fragrances and then we would bring them back for one month where you could purchase up all your favorites and hoard them around like crazy and get to have them again for a month or if you hoarded them up well you would have them for longer than that month and then you would vote like a mad person again uh, for your favorite to return again so I want to show you the 25 favorites that were voted back in for the June 2020 bring back my bar promotion and just like all of our other non-licensed fragrance the bring back my bar collection it is in our regular Canadian price point of $8 a bar, or you can buy three of any of our non-licensed fragrance. They don't have to be all bring back my bars as long as they're non-licensed fragrances, and then they're $23, so you save a dollar. Or you can buy any five of our non-licensed fragrances and you get one free. So it's $40 in the Canadian price point. And then of course you pay whatever applicable shipping and taxes it is, depending on whereabouts you live. Um, province or territory wise okay so if you're in the American price uh, point then obviously the American prices are applicable for you and the American taxes and shipping system applies for you in that regard and yes I can ship it to you as well in the States I have an American uh, agreement as well with Sunsea so I can ship it to my friends down south from up north in Canada so uh, I want to do a little sniff and tell. I'm going to go through all 25 of our fragrances in our Bring Back My Bar June 2020 session and let you know what my sniffer says they smell like and uh, let you know how you can get them again. Okay, so I'm just going to grab one randomly, open it up, give it a sniff and then tell you what it is and how you can get it. Okay, so let's just start. I'm going to start off on my right and just kind of work it on an arc. Okay. So the first one is called Route 66. Get your kicks on Route 66, okay? This one is green. I don't know if you care about color, but it's a green one. I know what this one smells like because I've sniffed it before. This is a returning one for me. It's not a new one. And it's a masculine, very, 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 very fresh and sexy scent. And there's a reason I said you get your kicks on Route 66. It's not just because I know that movie from having the littles watching it. This is a really, really good honka honka smell. It's a very, very fresh masculine scent. Um, and it is definitely a divine honka honka burn and love kind of fragrance. Okay. So this one has a little hint of musk and amber in it. Definitely has a cologne fragrance to it. Okay. That's Route 66 but it's very fresh and manly, okay? Very fresh and manly. So it's like masculine spa almost. Next one. Ooh, I got another green one. It's kind of bizarre. I've got these just stacked up and they almost are like color coordinated. So this one here, I also know this one. This one I'm very, very thrilled is back and I'll be putting this one. I'll be putting Route 66 in my club as well, but definitely I'll be putting this one in. This one is eucalyptus. So this one will not help you get rid of your cold, but it'll definitely help you breathe a little bit easier when you have your cold or your allergies acting up because it is eucalyptus and wax. It's just, oh, like honestly, it's just eucalyptus. Like think of like Vicks and how Vicks smells. It's like that. It's just, ah, oh, fresh and wake you up kind of fragrance. 
eucalyptus exactly what you would expect eucalyptus to smell like it is that fragrance okay it's got that really really nice uh hunter green kind of uh colors the wax this one here fresh cut grass i had never smelt fresh cut grass it was another bring back my bar uh promotion a couple of years ago when i had first joined as a consultant and fresh cut grass was in that bring back my bar promo and I was like, fresh cut grass. There's no way it can smell like fresh cut grass. Um, let me just say, it actually smells exactly like somebody has just cut the grass. It's bizarro. Because you wonder how can a wax smell like grass? It smells like grass. Like it is so surreal that you wonder how it's happening. Because it's so fresh and so clean and so green. It's just like, you know, and you hear the that's it. Fresh cut grass. It's got that ridiculous memory associated with it of a fresh cut lawn. First spring lawn cutting. White sands. This one was new to me. I haven't smelt this one. Ooh, this is sexy and tropical all at the same time. So this has like coconut in it and like a little bit of like splash of tropical rum. But it seems like I it also, smell. you can smell it, Amelia? Mm -hmm. It smells like it's got some amber in there, like a little hint of some rich, rich amber and like smokiness to it. It's really, really sexy. But like I said, it's tropical sexy. So that's probably where it's got the white sand to it. Because like, you know, you think of like a, a, a tropical getaway wedding. I know not many people are able to do their getaway weddings right now because of our whole, you know, global pandemic that's going on. But, you know, you think of a tropical getaway wedding, you think of that sexy sandy beach. That's what's going on here. It's very, very sensual, very romantic, very sexy. Oh, and that's what this is, white sand. So it's got that tropical vibe, that coconut milk scent to it. But then it's got that white amber and musk, very sensual, very hot and sexy. Wow, right? That's what it is, white sands. That's a nice one. Jumping Jelly Bane. This is like one of our Canadian classic fragrances that everybody loves this one jumping jelly bean and it's very fun very very kitty very very fresh fruity oh this smells like you know the inside of those light green jelly beans sorry those trees are like whoa I don't like the motiony stuff it makes me kind of queasy so being out here and watching my kids on a windy day is it's a mom thing you got to do it but not a fan to do it but anyway, those light green jelly beans is what this reminds me of. It's a really, really great fragrance. It's like a, almost like a, a pear fragrance to it. That's kind of what it reminds me of. So if you like the smell of like a fresh Anjou pear, that's what this kind of reminds me of as a fragrance. It's a really great fragrance. Very nice and fresh. Very nice and fresh fragrance. There we go. So that's Jumpin' Jelly Bean. But this was one of the first fragrances um, in our kids line and in Canada as well. So if you've been a Scentsy fan for a little bit, you're probably very, very familiar also with Jumping Jelly Bean as a fragrance. Now, this one, I know very, very, very long list of my own Snifferfic fans have been waiting for this one to return. Pink Haze. And to me, Hibiscus Pineapple, which is on our new fragrance list, is very similar to this one. It has like a lot of similar characteristics, but people who've been waiting for Pink Haze to return, get her, get her, get her, get her while you can. Pink Haze is returned. Yeah. Oh, Pink Haze. It's just, oh, it's such a gorgeous fragrance. I'm just gonna move my camera a little bit better here because it kind of blew over there with that little last kiss. There's a little gust of wind there. Oh. Pink haze, there's just, there's something beautiful about pink haze. Oh, it's just, it's beautiful. It's sexy.
see it's romantic it's just something beautiful about pink haze like it's just gorgeous fragrance gorgeous pink haze it has like a, a feminine quality to it that is girly without being like overly girly or juvenile girly and it's romantic it's just yeah pink haze it's just beautiful fragrance cherry vanilla this is another good one oh cherry vanilla the thing i like about cherry vanilla some people are worried it might be too too sweet because it's cherry and vanilla so it hints at being maybe like that really offensively sweet smell and it's not because the cherry it's a very nice warm cherry smell with that lovely lovely uh sweetness of the vanilla the vanilla extract kind of scent there mm, so it's like a warm warm bing cherry with that really really subtle cinnamon hint in with the vanilla cherry vanilla gorgeous fragrance another one that people just love to vote back in because it's such a fantastic fragrance echo i had not smelt echo before echo is a new one for me Let's see what this one is oh okay you know what echo Echo kind of reminds me of Dracar Noir. My dad always wore that cologne. He doesn't wear it as much now, but when I was a kid, he always wore Dracar Noir. And that kind of, this kind of reminds me of that, that cologne. Wow. It smells like my dad. Okay, if, if you smell Echo, if you've sniffed Echo before, Tell me in the comments if that's kind of what it reminds you of. This is a fantastic fragrance. It's definitely a fabulous fragrance for a bedroom or a man cave. I would even love to smell this one. I love having fragrances um, with the cologne element because I just find cologne fragrances very relaxing. I don't know what it is, but I do. I just find them very soothing and relaxing. I don't know if it's the amber or what it is. But I do, I find that fragrance to be very, very um, soothing. And I love having those in my bathroom when I am having um, a nice warm tub. So this would be really good if you have like an inside hot tub or if you are having a nice hot tub bathroom visit, right? Echo, wow. That's what it reminds me of. So let me know in the comments if you think Dracar Noir is similar to that one. There we go, banana nut bread. This is what started it all. One of the originals. And let me tell you, I love the smell of banana nut bread. It smells exactly like you are baking a hot fresh loaf of banana bread. I hate bananas. I don't like banana bread. But my God, I love me the smell of that stuffed bacon. And this is a fragrance that is just amazing. And Heidi and Orville, this was their flagship fragrance. I still can't believe it's not in our everyday catalog because it was our starter, but it's not. So get it because it's that amazing. If this is the scent that launched our company to what it is now and the amazing legacy that it is now, you know it's got to be good. Banana nut bread. Cashmere! Cashmere! Oh, this one is really, really cool because it has a really nice smoky quality to it that just makes you feel comfort. Like, cashmere is that fabric that you put on for comfort right and and it just this is a fragrance that matches that right it's got some some smokiness to it warmth right it's got smokiness and warmth all lined up to it and it has this um it's like amber and a little bit of musk there's a lot of amber in our collection this time around i think it's just gorgeous oh can't get enough of this one. 
It's beautiful scent. If you like rich and exotic kind of fragrances, this is a very rich exotic fragrance. Cashmere. It's another good one. Move these over. So I don't get them mixed up with what I'm smelling next. Simply Rose. Simply Rose. I smell it already as I'm cracking it open. Simply Rose is just gorgeous. Like, it is just a beautiful fragrance. Just beautiful. Because it has that tranquility that we associate with rose petals. I don't know what it is about a rose. There's something beautiful about the simplicity of that flower, which attributes so much to it. Like, that flower is so sensual. And this fragrance is so sensual because it is the rose. Oh, and this fragrance, you can mix this one with so many others because it's just rose. So mix that with thunderstorm, mix that with happy birthday, mix that with simply vanilla, mix that with anything because it's a base fragrance, right? It's purely rose. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. So glad that went back. It's a clubber. Cherry lime aid. I like this one too. Citrus and fruity and mm. Oh, this one is so good. This one is like, like I said, fruity meets citrus. This one is like if you were to have like cherry soda. I don't know if you've ever gone to like a soda shop and you have like those soda machines where you get to mix the syrups, right? This is like having that cherry syrup and lime syrup in a slushy kind of thing. Oh, so good. So good. We used to get popsicles and like you would break the popsicles in half and be half a green and half of the red. That's this. Cherry limeade. So citrus zingy. Oh, it's going to tip over. My tower is getting too tall. Put that in. Put that down in front. This one, I love this one. And this one I got um, in Bring Back My Bar promo and I didn't realize how much I would love it and I only ordered one. This was when I was like still a client. Wow, I should have ordered a gazillion. So I am really thrilled this is back. It's called Fuzzy Blanket. I had a client order this from me and she's like, my kid says to order Fuzzy Blanket. I don't even know if that's a thing. And I was like, oh, it is so a thing. If you like Jammy Time or Luna, Fuzzy Blanket. It is the bomb. Lavender, freesia some cottony whiff in there it is just oh this is like the lullaby wax it's just oh it's so soothing honest to goodness man fuzzy blanket it is amazing club worthy galore you're gonna want like six of these in your club because they're that good fuzzy blanket fuzzy blanket Sugar. Yes, please. Mmm, sugar. We know we love it. It hasn't been gone long. Thank God it's back. Because it's sweetness and girly and beautiful and pretty. Mmm, sugar, sugar, sugar. It's so pretty. It's just, it's sweetness without being sweet, sweet. Like, got a little hint of girly, a little hint of sweetness, a little, a little subtle bakery, a little vanilla. It's so, so good. Sugar. Plain old sugar. That's what it's called. Was in our body line, but it's fantastic. Beach Daisy. I don't know if you guys remember Beach Daisy. Beach Daisy was in our summer collection. Um, I don't think it was last year. I think it was in 2018. But it was, um, yeah, it was 2018 because last year it was a different group of fragrances. It was based on like going outdoorsy or whatnot. Um, but Beach Daisy was phenomenally popular. So I'm not at all surprised this is back. Oh. Okay, Beach Daisy is so fantastic. If you like pink tulips or um, Here Comes the Sunflowers, you will like this one because it has that wonderful fragrance in it of fresh and floral. 
no, no, not right now. Um, it's got a w wonderful fragrance to it that is significantly floral and sophisticated about it. But then it has this back note that has that ocean side freshness to it. And it also has, because when you go to the beach, you always bring like snacks with you, right? So it has a little hint of sweetness and fruitiness to it, right? Because that's what the beach is. The beach is tropical and fun. That's what this has to it. It's gorgeous. A little bit sweet, a little bit fruity, and a whole lot of floral. It's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous collection of all those things. I almost dropped it. Caught it. Yeah. Fantastic, fantastic beach daisy. Not right now, please stop. Next one up on the list. You see it? Happy birthday! You guys love this one. You always vote it back. Don't forget to put it in your club so that you have it all year long because it's the perfect thing to add on when you're giving Sensi as a gift. You don't want to be without a happy birthday bar when you're giving a happy birthday gift. And you know it's going to smell exactly like a birthday cake. This smells just like my friend, Melissa. Because Melissa always wears like this vanilla essence. And that's what she smells like is happy birthday cake. It smells like a white cake with vanilla frosting and sprinkles. Like, it's absolutely delicious. This is delicious Melissa. Happy birthday. That's what it smells like. It smells like that white, fluffy, yummy vanilla frosting on a white cake with those yummy sprinkles. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yummy, yummy, yummy birthday cake. Rio Beach. Oh, Rio Beach is, Rio Beach is the bomb. Okay, Rio Beach is like pineapple, coconut, papaya. It's all of those yummy, yummy tropical fruits mixed up in a salad and then sprinkled with sunshine warmth. And I don't know how you get sunshine warmth in a smell, but somehow you do. And that's what it smells like. Rio Beach. And it's got a little splash of seaside saltiness. Oh, yummy, yummy. Rio Beach. Rio Beach. Unbelievable. And now we've got Southern Evening. Southern Evening was a scent of the month, not so, so long ago. I think it was scent of the month. It might have been in the spring catalog, but I'm pretty sure it was the scent of the month. Oh. Okay, so this has got like a masculineness to it. And it's got a real like sexy secretiveness to it. Like it's very mysterious in scent. And it's like so, so handsome. And it's so sensual. There is some musk in here and some serious, serious, serious exoticness to this one. So think of like, you know, twilight romance, right? This has got that kind of thing going on. And this one I'm trying to think of, it's not an amber. I'm trying to think of what undernote this is because it doesn't smell like amber to me. But it's got like some rich exotic wood fragrance almost to it. Like a mahogany probably is what I may be thinking of is what is in it, but it's not amber. Oh, Margo has to bark. There must be somebody walking a dog. Okay. Margo, that's enough. The neighbor's putting his golf carts or golf clubs in the trunk. Oh, beach. You guys know beach. Not to be confused with Rio Beach. Rio Beach is very, very tropical in um, the fruit palette that it has. So it has um, coconut, Margo, enough. Uh, it has like coconut papaya and all those kinds of things. Rio Beach, that is that one. This one is just regular beach. Okay, beach to me reminds me of, um, there was a suntan lotion, because we used to suntan before we knew the dangers of exposing our skin to intentionally baking it. Um, but there was a sun tanning lotion that we used to put on our body and I think it was like Hawaiian Tropic or something but it was in a brown bottle and it had like a 
orange or a yellow lid to it and writing on it and it was like an oil <laughs> believe it or not but that's what the scent reminds me of it was a little bit different than beach but it had like that really coconutty mango scent to it and that's what beach reminds me of it's got that mango coconut fragrance very 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 fragrant almost a little bit of floral in it like a hibiscus floral very yummy very yummy it's beach but it's got that very much um like fun vibe let's go catch the waves kind of scent to it because you know back then when we were oiling ourselves up there weren't any worries about doing that that was just what ifs it's what we did right we didn't know it was something we shouldn't be doing okay next up we have move things out of the way here coconut cotton coconut Whoa. cotton was on our everyday Whoa, list and we had this one in our regular everyday catalog for years and then they discontinued it and people were like where did coconut cotton go and now there's like an entire generation of sniffy lovers who don't know what coconut cotton is in sensi land so you have to smell this if you are a fan of um clothesline or clean breeze or pink cotton or lavender cotton you've got to smell coconut cotton because it has the note of cotton that fresh cotton scent and then it's got coconut on top of it so it's taking freshness and freshness and explosion of freshness coconut cotton it's amazing 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 Hemingway Hemingway I love it I always think of like Ernest Hemingway and then I think of like this fragrance and how much it would be perfect for that guy because you know Ernest Hemingway he was really really secretive right and that's what this is it's got like a very exotic scent to it it's very very seductive because that's the way he wrote he wrote with a very seductive style but it was very, very um, melodious, right? Like it flowed really well. And that's like the scent, the scent just flows in a very, very seductive way, in a very mysterious way. So this is like a really, really masculine scent. And it's so romantic. It's just got like a little heat to it. Um, not spiciness, but in like a oh, romantic kind of way. Thunderstorms. This was one of the first scents that I've ever bought from Scentsy. It was like this one and baked apple pie and uh, coconut lemongrass and thunderstorm. Lex loves this one too. This one is phenomenal. It smells just like after a thunderstorm. Like you know how you've got like that um, soothing like relaxing zen like kind of scent? That's this. So it kind of smells like a bit of rose. Um, a little bit of jasmine kind of scent in it, but it's very, very tranquil, very, very um, clean and fresh. It's just awesome fragrance. Thunderstorms. Thunderstorms. That was also another one of the first scents that Scentsy brought out. Grape Granita. Grape Granita. Grape Granita is like grown up grape juice. <sighs> just try to open it. If I can open it. There we go. Oh, I love this smell. Oh, love it, love it, love it. This one reminds me of like, um, I always say that like the other grape that we had, Gleeful Grape, was like grape bubblegum. And then this one kind of reminds me of like a red wine. It has a, but not like um, a very full body red wine. This is kind of like a, if red wine was made into a candy. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Like, could you imagine a red wine candy? Because it's got like a sweetness to it. So it's not like the bubblegum grape fragrance, but it's like if you were to take red wine and have that very mature grape fragrance, like, you know, when you take a red wine and you kind of like sniff it, right? And you kind of hold it in front of you and you, you smell that whole envelope of fragrance. That's what this smells like. It has that very full body grape fragrance to it but in a very, very sweet and mature way all at once. It's a gorgeous fragrance. Great Granita. So many of you have been waiting for this one to come back. Don't forget to club it because then you get it forever. Now, I know this one's gonna bring back the memories. 
because this one, this one reminds me of when my brothers collected baseball cards. Bubblegum, bubblegum in a dish. How many bubblegum do you wish? Bubblegum. It smells exactly like that pink bubblegum that comes in baseball cards. I don't know if they do that anymore. Do they still put bubble gum in baseball cards? I'm assuming they still do baseball cards, right? But they used to put bubble gum to hold the cards stiff. And then the cards, like, I mean, the gum was hard as a rock. That's what that smells like. And I know you know what that smells like. Kind of like a hubba bubba smell. Same kind of thing. Blueberry Rush. So if you love the smell of a fresh blueberry, or if you've ever made um, homemade blueberry pie filling, you can smell it already. Oh, Blueberry Rush, I love this one. Blueberry Rush also smells like strawberry and shortcake friend, blueberry. Blueberry pie, I think was his name, I don't know. It smells so phenomenal. Oh, so phenomenal. So, that is all 25 of them. And it is a fantastic collection. We've got a lot of really nice masculine ones in here. We've got a phenomenal collection of floral in here uh, and fresh ones in here. Fruity, there's some great fruity ones in here. I love how many are in here that are also, haven't been seen for a while, right? There's a few in here that I haven't sniffed for a while. And I've seen a lot of Bring Back My Bars now, even just as a consultant. So it's fantastic how there's all these bring back my bars now for us to experience. And the really cool thing is, is that you can make sure that you will never lose your favorite scent again by putting it in your club. There's no cost to join Scentsy Club. All you do is you pay for the bars or the other items it is that are shipping right to your house from our warehouses and that's it. And the really cool thing is, is with Scentsy Club, we actually make it more cost effective for you. If you are having your items shipped to you from Scentsy Club, we can help you with some of the shipping fees being reduced. And there's also exclusive perks in there, like we have bricks in there all year round that you can choose from. And there's also some other exclusive items in there that come up every now and then as well. So if you have any questions about Scentsy Club, make sure that you ask me because you can have your Scentsy Club shipped to you on a recurring cycle of every one, two, or three months at your choice. Um, and again, you get to decide that. And if you put in a bar that ends up being retired, you still always get that bar. And I can explain to you how that works as well. So if you'd like more details on the always get my bar feature or anything else that has to do with Scentsy Club, let me know and I will definitely get back to you on Scentsy Club. And if you want to order any of these Bring Back My Bars or anything else from Scentsy, just send me a message or comment down below and I will get a hold of you lickety split as soon as I can. And you know, you got to subscribe to my channel if you want to stay up to date on any of my other videos that I may post. And I always love hearing from you in regards to what other things you would like to see me talk about or give you tips and tricks on or answer your questions about. So leave me down in the comments what other things you wanna hear about or hear from me about, and I'll do my best to get those to you as soon as I can. And I'm gonna see what my kiddos need from me right now because they've gone and to the backyard now so I can get rid of these trees. You guys remember to stay snifferific and always remember that you can also shop online at 100, say it with me, per hyphen cent. Dot .sensi.ca. Dot Ciao for now. Bye.